me to welcome okay, mr b is a businessman like you rightly said and is known to be uh, a serial exporter as a serial importer. importer yes now for a man who is into the business of importation to want to reposition his country according to this policy document from consumption to uh production doesn't this contradict um his business sense doesn't this um, throw some questions here and there as to whether or not he's even sincere with this document in the first place okay thank you very much um let me say this that as industrialized as america is they still import from other countries as industrialized as china is she still imports now the question is what mr b is importing how does it affect his principles as to developing the agrarian sector of nigeria is he importing rice the answer is no is he importing beans is he importing gary the answer is no so you know even industrialized nations still import but the the, the the thing is this that what they import to a large extent it's not something that will affect it's something that they are deficiency the deficient on and is required for um the development of their country now for international relationships importation and exportation are necessary for example um netherlands made a couple of billions of dollars by exporting now who are those countries they're exporting to probably some of most african countries and western countries so importation and exportation are a part of development okay. but when you begin to do it in such a way that it undermines the development of your sector a particular sector in nigeria or of the economy it becomes bad thank you very much all right i'm going to ask the same question from um mr obimbi I'm, I'm not sure you are are you aware of the fact that mr obi is an importer Obviously, it's um, public knowledge that Mr. Obi has been an evil person, and the nature of business it does is largely dependent on importation into the Nigerian economy. On a, on a very large scale. But very very large recently, scale. Um, uh, the Kogi State Governor, I, I mean, is a politician though, but uh, is not it, Mr. Obi himself has not at any time, um, I mean, it's called that a rumor. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't uh disparage or what what do you want to call it now um some of these allegations he did not refute Refute. them now he said um mr obi is a very gentle man but he is into importation and imports majority of what nigerians consume and here is the same man who wants to be president and um plans to you know uh reposition nigeria from a largely consuming country to a producing country what is your view on this like i said it's um, public knowledge that mr peter will be imports massively into the country um that's for his own personal business anyway but the implication of that what that um resonates with every right thinking person is that it's obvious that you don't give what you don't have if this is my personal principle this is the way i see things getting done why would I want to come on a national scale and then contradict the same thing? Why would I want to go against what my mind says is the right thing? If you've been doing this on a personal basis for a very long time and it's been profitable to you, it's been beneficial to you, it's going to be very difficult for you to run that on a national scale on the flip side. It's going to be quite difficult for you now to say that you want to turn us to an exports-driven economy. Now, that's even a bit scary for me because really our politicians love to make bogus statements i i have no issues with the person of mr peter obi i'm comfortable with the fact that he's vying for presidency i have every reason to give him a chance to to trust him however he needs to clearly 
come out and give us definitive specifics. For instance, you want to industrialize Nigeria. That has been the trajectory of all politicians in Nigeria. Give us an exact blueprint that has milestones. How do you want to achieve this? Let us see in detail how will this happen. At a point in time, this current administration, the Buhari regime, came up with the idea of banning rice importation and all of that. But they didn't create any substitute. There wasn't an alternative. There wasn't any plan in place to say, once we ban importation of so and so goods and products and services, I mean, we would be able to augment, we will be able to supplement this with what we have. How would Mr. Obi translate his plan into action? How do we want to become an industrial nation, an exporting nation? In essence, what are the details of this propaganda? Because it is all politics. What you have not done privately, for you to convince me otherwise that you do it at a national level, is going to be quite difficult for me to agree with. Is it